It's one of the juiciest wedding scandals ever written where the groom finds out his best man hooked up with his bride to be and the Ooh. drama continues. Here's a peek at the best man final chapters. They want to make unfinished business into a movie. Say, say what now? Get your popcorn ready. That book caused a lot of drama. Mm. Ooh, we're so yes. excited to have filmmaker filmmaker Malcolm D. Lee here to catch us up on a new drama and the star studded cast. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to DBL, Malcolm. <laughs> Malcolm D. Lee, I'm telling you, the power of manifestation works, y'all, because I manifested this man on this show. <laughs> you did, did, Erica. You absolutely did. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I appreciate you so much. So let's get started, because aside from the stellar all-star black cast, what else made the Best Man movie a hit at the box office? I think, you know, you just had some very relatable characters. Um, uh, it was a very American story. Everybody loved seeing wedding movies. And, you know, I think it just happened to be something that was very universal, but also had cultural specificity to it. And I think that's what, you know, made an, an, a very starving audience very happy to see themselves represented on screen. Uh, I, I can feel that. And this is like, it's, I, I can't imagine what the audience is feeling because we're excited for this, but we also hear the word final in this, as in final Ooh, chapters biz. of the best man. Please tell us this is not really the end for these college friends. We need more. Successful relationships. Okay, I won't tell you, <laughs> but I mean, it's final. It's the title, my man, you know, it's a, it, is, it is final for a reason. Um, you know, I, I don't think I have many more, or any more story to tell with these characters and I think you know it's better to leave well enough alone mm -hmm. you know you should you should go out on top and leave the people wanting more mm -hmm. where were so, you for season eight of Game of Thrones oh it's yeah. terrible <laughs> hashtag coffee cup Game remember that oh god my wife watches Game of Thrones I, I've never seen it <laughs> He has a lot I of know, I know. Good for you. Good for you. I'm proud. He works. I know. He does things <laughs> unlike me where I'm like, all right. Uh, I heard that Terrence Howard has said he is retiring, but on set, Morris Chestnut, who is good, wonderful, uh, told him not to. Have you spoken to Terrence about that? And Mr. Howard, I should say, not Terrence. Uh, about him retiring for the second time? Yeah. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> no, I, I haven't spoken to Terrence about that. You know, I hope he, I hope that he doesn't give up acting. Mm. I think that he still has a lot to offer the world, but at the same time, if that's what he feels, right. he has nothing else to do, then he should do what, what, what his heart tells him. But, you know, Terrence Howard is, is a wonderful talent and has a lot to offer the world still, I think, mm. in, the world, in, in terms of acting. Mm. So Malcolm, in the interest of transparency, I've seen episode one and two already, but mum's the word. <laughs> I've also have my recap, which I'm holding on to on my podcast, <laughs> but I'm really curious because I'm doing more of like a commentating. So how do you relate to this drama? Because I feel like there's a part of you in it. And is there a character that's most like you? What are you saying I'm dramatic? <laughs> <laughs> I, I call it drama. No, um, Erica Cobb. No, um, no. I'm, I'm, um, I'm in all these characters. You know, these these characters emanated from, from from my brain. They certainly came out of my own experiences, my own friendships. Um, you know, and I, I, you know, people ask me that all the time. Are you a Hugh Harper? Or are you? And I, I, I find myself. Yes, I do have Harper in me. I also have. Jordan in me, you know, mm. I, I had a lot of like, you know, I wouldn't say blind ambition, but ambition, you know, to, um, you know, keep elevating and like, you know, relationships took a back seat. Um, you know, I think as I get older and become more of a parent or not, I've been a parent for 20 years now, but I, 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 I find myself talking like Lance, it does in, in, in these um, episodes of like, yeah. you know, you know, how, 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 how you know, some parents have said, like, you know, I brought you in this world. I'll take you out. You do as I say, blah, 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 all that kind of I'm one of those kind of parents. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Erica Jordan. Erica can relate. Yep. Yeah. I'm Team Jordan, yeah. <laughs> Everybody, every black woman, every successful black woman is like, I'm Jordan. I'm Jordan. I'm, I'm that, I am that I'm chick, Jordan. blah, blah, blah. 
I love it. Malcolm, thank you so, so much good. for for joining us. And again, Erica, the whole manifestation, very <laughs> inspiring. <laughs> DBL inspiring. Thank you, Erica. <laughs> thank you, Malcolm. DBL Nation, you can binge all eight episodes of The Best Man, the final chapter, streaming on Peacock tomorrow. It's good. It's so great. Cool. It's everything you ever wanted. We'll be right back. Thanks, Thanks Malcolm. Malcolm. That was awesome. Thanks.